Hi guys. I just thought I'd make a vlog to update you guys. I went to, for my MRI today. Yes, they finally got it scheduled. And I went there to have it done today, that open MRI. Because they had to look around till they could find an open MRI so I could fit in it. So they finally felt, you know, got one at Chilla Coffee and, um, I went there today, got my ride scheduled and everything and got there today and, um, then I wasn't back there. We waited like an over an hour past our appointment and nobody was even there but us. But um, that was fine, no big deal. But they didn't have me back there two minutes. Because when I got there and laid on the table, then he told me, I don't think you're going to be able to fit in here. I think you're too big. He said, let me, let me try to lift you up a little bit. And he lifted up the table. And he said, yeah, you're not going to fit through the hole. We're lacking about five inches here. So we're not going to be able to do it. I was so mad. So mad. After I got out of the house and went in there to have it done. That was really aggravating. So we just had to call our ride to come back and pick us up. And I didn't get it done, so I don't know what my surgeon's going to want to do now. But I guess we'll find out because he was going to call her, and I called her myself So when I got home. But of course, it just went to the nurse's, you know, voicemail, and nobody's called me back. You know how they are. They hard tell when or if they'll even call back, but until they want to anyway. But, um, the driver, the driver and I knew each other and didn't even know it. How sad is that? Somebody that we, we grew up together, you might as well say. And we shot BB guns together when we were in high school and everything. Rode the bus together. Our dads grew up together. Dad would, wouldn't believe it that we didn't know each other. He'd think it was so funny. We got, we started talking and... He's talking about a place where my uncle worked, and I said, my uncle works there. And he asked me who my uncle was, and I told him. And he said, well, you're Missy. And I said, yeah. And I thought he had just, you know, was friends with my uncle and had heard him talk about me or something. But no. Uh, he said, well, I'm Jimmy, and said his last name. And... I said, no way. You, no, you're not. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. We said we knew each other and didn't even know it. That's crazy. He didn't recognize me. I didn't recognize him. It was, it was crazy. And he lives here in MacArthur, too. But that was the story of today. Yesterday was my birthday. Um mom and Cindy and Jimmy came out to visit me and bring my gifts and then later that night dad came back and with Ronnie and Kaylee and brought Abby and Chris so I got to meet Chris for the first time so that's pretty much my updates except for I've been sick um, well, I had that infection you know again the another urinary tract infection I just got done taking all the antibiotics so I don't know if it helped or not I gotta turn in another urine sample so they can test it again they wanted to test it again so but I've been sick throwing up and just feeling horrible with my stomach and everything so but I guess that's normal for me so no big update there but I just ain't been feeling very well, and the night before last, I just didn't get no sleep at all. Not one wink of sleep. Not even ten minutes. I was awake all night long. 
and I just felt miserable the next day. And that's the day that everybody came, and as soon as Mom and Cindy and Jimmy left, I crashed. I fell asleep for a couple hours, and then when Dad and them came back, I was feeling a little bit better by then, so. But I'm really happy I got to visit with everybody. And a couple nights before that, Dad and Jody and Ronnie had came and brought my gifts. And Dad brought a cake with him this time that he had made, a homemade cake that he made. So we all had cake, except for Kaylee or Ronnie. One of them two didn't eat cake. But everybody, we all, everybody else did. I had a piece too since, you know, Dad had made it. Even though I'm on a diet because I didn't want to be rude. And it was really good. But I only had one little tiny piece. But that is my updates, and I just wanted to let you guys know, like I said I would. But today didn't go well, and I'm not very happy at all about it. Because I was so looking forward to getting it done and getting it over with, and my surgeon wanted to get it done really bad. So, but no such luck. Of course. This has been crazy, and a lot of family issues and drama right now. Just a lot of crap going on. My sisters in Christ know certain ones. But a lot's going on. Plus I think my one of my friends is mad at me because well, I don't want to get into it, but Yeah, it's just been crazy. But anyways, I'll let you guys go. I still gotta go do the Bible video. I keep messing up on it, so I gotta, I've been doing it over and the camera died, so I'm having to charge the camera, so I'm gonna have to try to do it over again. But, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Let's, um, I was gonna say, let's bring those souls to Jesus, I'm sorry. That's what I always say in my Bible videos. I'm getting messed up. I still just don't feel very good at all. I'm just tired. I'm just tired is all. But um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I will update you guys whenever I find out any more. Bye guys.